Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's jump in to this week's video. My Dollar Tree finally got the candle holders that I've been searching for, so of course I had to purchase a few. I'm just screwing the tops off because I was thinking to add something inside, but then later changed my mind. As y'all can see, the open and closed part is on the top lid and the screws and the lights is at the bottom. All you do is twist the top so you can be able to insert your batteries in. I'm using that same bling wrap that I used in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out after this one. If you wanted to keep it all Dollar Tree items, you can simply use their bling wrap. I'll be taking these outside to spray paint them, but before I do that, I need to show y'all that this bling wrap does not affect me from removing the lid to switch out the batteries. Initially, I was thinking to glue two blocks on top of the candle holder and then glue another candle holder on top of those blocks, but that wasn't sturdy enough, so I had to take that apart and redo it, which you guys will see coming up in the next clips. So now I'm adding four blocks instead of two. And if you are going to recreate this, then I strongly suggest that you add a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. To hide the excess glue, I'm saturating three sides of my wood blocks with my hot glue and now I'm using my vase fillers to cover the blocks up. I'm also making sure that the gems are not quite near the top so that way when I get ready to glue the other candle holder down, it can go down as easy as possible. You also can choose to glue them together this way. You just have to be careful so you don't get glue everywhere, but I found it better to glue them together the other way. If y'all are wondering exactly how am I gonna switch out the batteries, it's easy as one, two, three. I'ma just twist each individual candle holder to replace the batteries and the whole top actually still comes off just in case if I wanted to add something inside the candle holders. I'm using this four by five inch circle mirror as the bottom base. Of course, if you are going to recreate this, you can use a bigger mirror. I'm just using this one because this is what I had on hand.
This floor lamp turned out amazingly beautiful. It's inexpensive, glamorous, and gorgeous. Comment your thoughts below and let me know if you would recreate this. For project number two, I'm using this foam board that I already had on hand and also this four by five inch square mirror and I'm tracing and cutting out four squares. I like to flip the foam board over to recut so the pieces can come apart easily. I'm covering all four sides with this Art Skills glitter tape. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this glitter tape has a bunch of fallout. So to prevent the glitter from getting everywhere, I'm going to seal it with my Mod Podge. This is not fully dry yet, but I'm gonna get started on decorating and I'm gluing these beaded necklaces around the entire perimeter. These are old wood blocks that I already had on hand and I'm just gluing them all together and then I'm going to glue them inside my box. I'm gluing these blocks closer to this end of the box. I kind of got glue everywhere, but that's okay because it won't be showing. I completed the same exact steps as I did for project number one. I just stacked the blocks on top of one another instead of side by side. If you haven't guessed yet, this is a table lamp and I placed the square mirror underneath to make it look more realistic. Overall, I think I did a pretty good job with this week's projects. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite project for this week. <music> 